Welcome to my channel. I want to talk about uh, the recent decision not to prosecute Joe Biden for his handling of classified documents. But before I do that, I have to thank each and every one of you for coming to my channel. Thank you for watching my videos, for liking them, for commenting on them, for sharing them. Thank you for subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. I really, really do. Now, before we get to uh, that issue, I want to show you something else. You see this? Dax released a song today called Narcissist. I spent 20 minutes creating a video responding or reacting to his song. And here you can see on the screen, there are reaction videos up on YouTube right now to his song. Now, look what they did to me. See that? Dax Narcissist Reaction Blocked. Copyright. YouTube, explain to me how you can block mine and not block other people's. Explain to me how some people get to react to videos and others don't. What is your hypocritical reasoning for this? You want to tell me that because I'd really like to know. Irritates me to no end. Sometimes it even makes me think I don't even want to do this anymore. It's so irritating. I spend all that time making a video and then they go, Oh no, we're not going to let you show this. Give me a break. It's a four minute song and I did a 20 minute video. Explain to me how that's not fair use. Uh, but getting to the subject of my, of this video, uh, as you may be aware, I don't know if you are or not, but you may be aware that uh, Joe Biden was recently, uh, he, he was investigated by the Department of Justice and they recently decided not to prosecute him. Okay, and the reason they decided not to prosecute him is because they say, we conclude that the evidence does not establish Mr. Biden's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. And what are the reasons for them not pursuing a prosecution against him? His memory was significantly limited. We have also concluded that at trial, Mr. Biden would likely present himself to a jury, as he did during our interview of him, as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. The special counsel noted in his report that Biden could not remember even within a number of years when his son died could not remember when he was vice president and made a number of other troubling errors when it came to recalling facts. Now, the first thing I want to say is, if you think I'm being partisan, you're mistaken. When I was in the Navy, I did secret work. And I understood very clearly that if I was to ever tell anyone about what I was doing, I would go to prison. I would be in Leavenworth. Every one of us understood that. It was made quite clear. All right? So you can imagine, I mean, you can try to imagine anyway, how irritated I was when the Reader's Digest printed an article describing exactly what we were doing while I was serving in the military and while it was still a top secret program. It never ceases to irritate the daylights out of me when people in Washington, in positions of power, can reveal secrets to the press that are published publicly and nothing happens to them. But if I did it, I'd be in jail. So, what I'm about to show you here has nothing to do with the party Joe Biden is in or anything having to do with partisan politics. This is absolutely disgusting to me. 
as someone who was entrusted with secret information. And by the way, I never told my wife. I never told my children until years after the program was declassified. Never told anyone. But, you know, if you're in a position of power in Washington, D.C., you can do whatever you want with classified information. Listen to this. He says, that's bad enough. It means we have a guy in charge of the most powerful military on the planet who shouldn't be allowed to manage his own finances, dress himself, or cross the street without assistance. It is also, however, a cop-out, a cover-up, an attempt to sweep the truly troubling aspect of this entire matter under the rug. The special counsel's report covers the finding of classified documents in a number of locations. Let's, let's focus on one of those, the Penn Biden Center, in order to illuminate the national security concerns that are in the process of being buried. The Penn Biden Center is a supposed think tank created just for Joe Biden when he stepped down as vice president in 2016. It is supposedly focused on our China policy and relations with communist China. It is, in fact, a propaganda arm of the Chinese Communist Party. It tows the CCP line and parrots the talking points of Xi, Xi Jinping. During the pandemic, it focused much of its attention on branding anyone who said COVID came from a lab in Wuhan as racist and xenophobic. The Penn Biden Center is awash in Chinese money. During the period between Biden stepping down as vice president and his election as president, the center received $61 million from Beijing. It does not account for the source of those funds as required by law. It has refused multiple requests to explain how it gets all this money from China or what it does in exchange for the cash. The Penn Biden Center never criticizes Chinese policy. It shamelessly repeats the blatant lies of the Chinese communists on every topic. The Penn Biden Center is affiliated with the University of Pennsylvania. It was established around Joe Biden after he left the vice presidency. That means it was created after Joe left federal service. The office in which the documents were found did not exist prior to Joe becoming a private citizen. He could not have inadvertently transported documents there during his time as vice president because there was no Penn Biden Center then. The classified documents found at the Penn Biden Center were in unlocked, uncontrolled spaces. No one can really tell you who brought them there or when. Everything about how the documents got there and why remains murky. Visitor logs for the Penn Biden Center for the time period during which Joe was there were not made available to the special counsel. Among the documents found was a folder marked Eyes Only with the additional notation V. POTUS. Eyes Only is a designator used to refer to highly classified documents which are intended to be seen only by specific individuals. In this context, V. POTUS means Vice President of the United States. So that would suggest that the folder contained documents that were being restricted to only a handful of individuals within the U.S. government. The exact contents of this folder were not revealed in the unclassified version of the special counsel's report released to the public. It is known, however, from the redacted images published that in the folder were a top-secret CIA report on the Iran nuclear report and what appears to be a significant number of handwritten notes made by Joe Biden detailing what intelligence we had on the Iran nuclear program as of the date the notes were made. It is also known that some of the documents at least were marked SCI. That stands for Sensitive Compartmented Intelligence. It means the information in those documents came from very sensitive sources, the compromise of which could significantly harm American national security. So let's take a, I'm skipping over some, I'll, I'll give you the link, you can read the whole article yourself. So let's take stock of what, what just these documents tell us. 
Joe Biden left office as vice president and took with him some of the most sensitive intelligent documents in the U.S. government, specifically those dealing with the status of the Iranian nuclear weapons program. Sometime after that, he or someone working for him took those documents to the Penn Biden Center, which is funded in great part by Communist China and works to advance CCP interests in the United States. These documents then sat there for years before they were finally brought to light. Let's also take stock of what we don't know. We don't know if these were the only documents taken to the Penn Biden Center or only the ones that were left by the time they were discovered. We don't know how many people have seen them. We don't know if they were copied. We don't know in short what compromise occurred, how big it was, or how much damage is caused. Assuming, as we must, that the documents were compromised to the Chinese, we have no idea with whom Beijing shared the intelligence or what damage that has done to our collections capabilities abroad. But we don't know, but we should, and in fact we must find out. This isn't about senility. This is about national security. Let's stop talking about dementia and start talking about espionage. That's the article. It's on Substack. And again, I'll put the link in the description. I don't care if Joe Biden is blue, green, orange, yellow. I don't care if he's Democrat, Republican, Independent, or whatever. This is an outrage. It's an absolute outrage. And I'm going to say this right now. If Trump is found to have done the same thing, that would also be an outrage. It just irritates me. I can't even describe to you how angry it makes me to think that this can be done. And yet I would have been thrown in jail if I had even given you the name of the program that I was involved in. Just the name, no information at all, just the name would have got me in jail in Leavenworth. It's just another, it's just another sign, it's another uh, confirmation. It's more proof of the dual standard that we have in our country. The, the muckety-mucks, the higher-ups, the people that are, that are in the high places in government can do whatever they want, leak sensitive information, re release secret information, reveal programs that shouldn't be revealed, and absolutely nothing happens to them. Nothing. But you watch one service member release anything at all, and bam, their butt goes to jail. They're in Leavenworth right now. I'm so sick and tired of the double standard. It's time that we as Americans say enough is enough. We need to hold our leaders accountable. They, surely we can hold them to the same standard we hold people like me, little old me, a guy who was just an enlisted dude in the Navy. You can't tell me. You cannot sit here and tell me that I have to be more responsible for sensitive information than the people that run our nation. Oh, it just, oh, it, it infuriates me. It makes me so angry. I'm just so disgusted right now. Oh, I was disgusted when it happened when I was in the service and I'm disgusted now and I'll always be disgusted by the, the absolute double standard the complete hypocrisy. Uh, I could go on, you sure? I mean, you know, you know me. You, I could go on and on and on and on for a long time ranting and raving about this, but I won't go anymore. I, I'll, I'll put the link in the description. You can read it for yourself. And, you know, be feel free to comment on it. If you think it's not a big deal, let me know. Uh, I'll probably burn you. Because it is a big deal. 
but you know how I think about you. I pray for you. I pray that you will live an abundant life and that you'll be healthy and that you'll live a long time and that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray that you'll be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will let your request be made known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet, totally disgusted and out. <laughs>